Three tomatoes are walking down the street. Papa tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. Playing catch up presents. Starring Lindsay Inkle and Jamie Nelson. So this is playing catch up, is it? I prefer something with a little more kick. Everybody's favorite condiment themed entertainment podcast. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. <laughs> hot sauce. Nobody. I mean, nobody puts ketchup on a hot dog. You're listening to Hot Sauce on PlainCatchupPodcast.com. I'm your host, Lindsay Hinkle, and your co-host, Jamie Nelson, is here with me. Hello. And today we're talking about sketch comedy. Yay. It's great to be on another Live on Location episode. It's been a while since I've been to Chicago. Yeah, but driving down here was kind of a pain. I don't know if I've actually been to a live sketch uh, show, I don't think. Can you explain why that's different than traditional stand-up or improv? It's actually like little tiny snippets, vignettes if you will, Um, little little storylines within themselves as opposed to stand-up where it's like one continuous storyline where the comedian is the main character, you know? I see. It's different from improv in that it's definitely scripted. They definitely have performed these sketches before. There's not the awkward moments that you can get in improv sometimes. Cause remember that time that you and I went to that improv show and they pointed at me and I'm like, no, point at her. Oh, yeah. There's none of that. <laughs> but then there's also other, like, Kids in the Hall back in the 90s was a very popular sketch comedy show. And now the whitest kids you know are kind of doing a similar thing where it's five guys. And uh, their show actually just wrapped up on IFC and they're doing a tour. Yeah, we were lucky enough to get this interview with them today. That's really exciting. I know. I hope they're cool. Should we uh, go inside and say hello? Yeah. Walking feet, walking feet, walking feet. Hello, everybody. Hello. How long have you been a troop? 12 years. Wow. How did you get started? Much of us met in college uh, in 2000. Like, we were all going to, um, three of us were going to art school in New York, and uh, met Timmy a year later uh, on 9 11. And we kind of just, you know, got along and like, started comedy true. That's a fun thing to do. We started as a school club, and then uh, after we got out of school, we got more serious about it, and we brought Darren in. And, so the live performances is kind of where you got your start, but yeah, yeah. Okay. and yeah. then the show came later. Uh-huh. Well, how did that happen? Uh, we've been performing live in the Lower East Side for a few years, and kind of been the show was doing all right. And then um, we just kind of the right people kind of heard about the show and brought us out to this festival that HBO was putting on in Aspen, and we did well in that. And that was like a big industry showcase. And then uh, we got. We got a show out of it. Yeah. Plus, a, a big break was we were doing our, our show in the Lower East Side uh, for a while, and uh, eventually, Time Out New York did an article on us, and that was like a yeah. big push that led to all those things. Yeah. Um, so, where do you get the inspiration for your sketches? Crack. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we just do crack and listen to dubstep. <laughs> I have to admit, I don't understand dubstep. Can you explain? We're trying to wrap our heads You've obviously up. never smoked crack. <laughs> it's like a song's going on, and then aliens come in, they attack the song, and oh, you're okay. listening to them bomb the song and like shoot missiles at it and everything. It's <laughs> amazing. And, and that's, that's where the sketches come from. Yes. yes. That's where the dubstep comes from. <laughs> <laughs> Add crack sketches, that's yeah. But then from that comes in, yes. Right. Um, so what are you, what are the next steps now that the show ended? Um, More crack. More crack? Yeah. Find ways to get crack. Yeah. I like the style, I like the style. Uh, you know, t- we're doing the tour and then, you know, we're, we're working on other things, we're writing new things that'll have new, new shapes. I mean, I don't think we'll ever do more sketch on TV, obviously, but... Oh, and you had done some movies before, right? Or at least one that I know. We did the Civil War movie. And the Miss March? Yeah. It's not a Whitest Kids thing. Okay, it's yeah. a separate thing. Yeah. But it is a movie. It, it is, is a movie. movie that some of you worked on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So the Civil War on drugs was the, the movie that kind of stretched out over the last season. Right. right? Yeah. That's and a movie I, we like kind of thought of years ago and always wanted to make and realized like we might not get to make it because most people don't want to like spend money on like 
Civil War stuff. It's like can't be marketed overseas, and it's really weird. So we Studios thought, were like, you know, you don't want to do that. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we we bullied IFC into letting us leave. Nice. <laughs> That's not true. They're very nice. They supported us all the way through. <laughs> um, what advice would you have for aspiring comedians? I'd say for young sketch people, I'd say you need to perform live. I know right now, especially with YouTube, everybody wants to just throw videos up and get get things going that way. But I think you don't really know what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong unless you're on stage, because then you know exactly what it was. Yeah, you, just gotta, you gotta go out there and you gotta learn from failure. You gotta keep on doing it, keep on failing until you get better. So what's your favorite part about performing live then? I like the crack right before. Crack, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the plane rides. <laughs> I like the flying. Hotel rooms. <laughs> Trashing the hotel rooms, right? Rock stars, or is that just a rock That's star? Only Timmy. Only Timmy. I get crazy. Oh yeah, it's like they're letting a gorilla loose. Um, I don't know. I like performing live just because there's, you know, the energy is so awesome. And it gets crazy and sloppy sometimes, but it's still fun. My, my favorite thing is we, we go on these long car rides and I get to hang out with three of my best friends. <laughs> Timmy. Uh, <laughs> you three. You three. You, you guys. I like being, I like hearing yeah. these jokes that never get over for ten years. And then more. You like what? <laughs> I answered a question. Oh, okay. um, so do you prefer the live Performances or the like written out recorded? I prefer live just because there's immediate gratification. But I mean, it's fun to do the show. I mean, it's really fun, but you don't really know if it's working until like YouTube. So, like, by the time, you know, from the time we write something to when we know if it's like, you know, funny or not, really, it's like sometimes like a year will go by. So that kind of sucks. I, I like the TV because two things. One, we get paid more, and two, <laughs> more people know who we are. So that's big. This guy yep. is a pussy hat. <laughs> Money and fame. Money and fame. That's what it's all about. That's my other tip to young comedians. Get comedians. as much money and fame as you can. It's, that's what it's all about. If you get money and fame, it's, then you'll be successful. Right? Yeah. Right. First. First step of sketch kind of do anything. Get famous. <laughs> <laughs> do anything for money in fame. So a lot of people I've talked to have said that the internet is like a really good medium. You like you mentioned the YouTube. Idiots. So like, They're no, idiots. no, you don't like <laughs> it. Like as far as expanding your audience, do you disagree? We're <laughs> anti-internet. I don't yeah. I think it's a fad. I don't think it's here to stay at all. <laughs> Working as a team, like, do you find that you take on different roles, like, in the creative process or with setting up for shows? I sort of feel like I take her on the like the kind of the step of like the like father, and like every other like, one's like like my little girls. Uh -huh. That's true. <laughs> but like a molesty, a weird, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, a dad. very inappropriate, grumpy dad. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought that was assumed. I said, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, Dr uh, Trevor and Zach direct, like, everything that we do, so there's that role. I like, uh, I play girls a lot. <laughs> um, Timmy is the play, wacky guy. Play little kid. The wacky guy. <laughs> the wacky Timmy's guy. The you need someone to break a watermelon. <laughs> I'm fucking right there. <laughs> I wear a lot of stripy shirts, and, uh, Sam plays a big dumb guy. So who writes the sketches? Do you all write? Yeah. yeah. We'll sit in the room and we'll all just kind of write down ideas and then we'll pitch them to everybody and then we'll just go through and start working on the sketches. Mm -hmm. It looks like some of the jokes kind of get added in as you go, like when we were watching the tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just kind totally. Of, does that happen often? Or? I don't think that happens often. No. no. There will be little things here and there that we might do at one show and maybe we'll do it again later if we liked it or something. But, mm -hmm. but like, we, like, for example, like the sex and sketch we've been doing, we've, we wrote that sketch many years ago. And I think since we first performed it, it's probably only got like three or four lines added into it. Like it's still yeah. pretty much the same. Okay. So how do you all de-stress before a show? Drinking. Drinking. <laughs> and crack. And crack. crack. I usually Crack's do not a good like de-stressor. <laughs> so you have a lot of like songs, and I saw you had the guitar. Like is music a big part of what you do, would you say? Not the no. live show. No? No. 
Did I mean, I don't think it's really a big. I mean, like Trevor has like his. What? How many? Have you got like five, six that have gone the show. Yeah, or ten. Maybe let's get a song or two a season. In the first three. I mean, did, we didn't have any in the last season. Gotta watch where we're at. Oh there yeah, the one had um, the the old folks yeah. on. Mm -hmm. There's usually oh, okay. two in this Sunday season. So, so if you don't do it in the live show, does that mean I have no hope for the dinosaur rap tonight? No, I tried it once, and uh, it was really hard to. Um, it's hard to run around on stage and rap. Yeah, like I would easy, imagine. It's easy to do it in like a recording studio, but like you know, when you have to run around and do it, it's hard. <laughs> That's yeah. probably why Britney lip syncs, right? Yeah. Okay. Or it's why all rappers all are really in shape. <laughs> why they the big what? fat ones. There's like rappers. Fat I mean, Joe, dead. Yeah. The biggie, there's dead. like the big fat rappers that don't do anything. They sit in like a throne or something and then they rap. And then there's the ones that are like, you know, really like in shape. And you have to be one or the other. Trapper Morris. Everybody's up for big fat guys. Do you do uh, meet and greets after every show? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that a fun experience? Yeah. General? Sure. Yeah. Cool. What's the biggest challenge you've had as a troupe? Oh, Timmy. <laughs> You're asking um, me for, for to give you an answer. Are you saying that is the answer? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I was going to see where you're going to go with it. Challenge. I mean, I think that like the biggest challenge kind of came before things started to pick up, which is just like persevering. You know? Yeah. It could, yeah. We, we have plenty of opportunities to like bail because it's such a hard thing to make your job doing this. So I think the biggest challenge is kind of behind us. I, I hope so. But yeah. And never know. We could all get cancer. Mm -hmm. That would be a big challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, it's really, it's really just uh, uh, doing this with no, with no promise that there's going to be anything. Yeah. Like give, when we were doing the live club shows, we gave up our weekends for for multiple years, mm -hmm. like like Saturdays were devoted to rehearsing for or for writing sketches, and Sundays were devoted to getting that show together. And the, there was no you know there's no promise that we were. And we had nine to five jobs, working five days a week. There's no promise that there was going to be a job at the end of this, yeah. you know. So we could have done that for for years and had it amount to nothing. But yeah, yeah. here we are. That's the biggest challenge is writing endings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even when we just talk. Is it really? Like, seriously? Yeah. Yeah. Endings are really yeah. hard. It's one of the yeah. hardest things. It's easy, but it's you know, hard to make good ones. Yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's like the beauty of like Monty Python. Is because they would just like, whenever they wanted to end the sketch, they would just cut to like Terry Gilliam's like, cartoons or whatever. Mm -hmm. like, awesome. oh, yeah. We need cartoons. Okay, Timmy, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's a lot of jokes going on that you're kind of at the butt of. Is yeah. that hard? <laughs> eh, yeah, it's hard, but I don't care. <laughs> like, at the end of the day, I don't care. Do you, are you He's all... a fucking powder keg. <laughs> Any second. I, I mean, I'm not gonna... allowed to own a gun. Oh, okay. Like, ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, ever. And if I did, I'd only need five bullets. So like, four, four. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <Where's> the... <laughs> Well, if you guys were dead, I'd have nothing to live for. Aww. That's not true either. <laughs> well, it was a sweet sentiment until you threw that in. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have a, like a kid, so I can't yeah. say that anymore because then it sounds fucked up. How old's your kid? Is that what so the fifth bullet was for? No, no, me. For me. <laughs> Jeez, your wife's gonna shoot. love this. You're gonna shoot her, baby. So the, are you all pretty close then? I mean, obviously, no, 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 no you hate each other. Yeah. Sitting in opposite corners. We of the were. Room. I think the best answer to that question is we were close. You were close. Yeah. We weren't close. <laughs> <laughs> it's debatable whether or not you were close. Uh, we're all, most of us have lived with each other at some yeah, point. Yeah. Yeah. We, How we, are you still friends? Everyone I've lived with. We that's another thing. Don't is we have to be because we work together. I mean, we have to. But we do like hang out with each other occasionally when we're not doing stuff. But we are kind of doing stuff all the time. It seems. So. I mean, there's been times we're just with each other every fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to be friends. Mm -hmm. you kill each other. Do you um, do you all have families or? I don't. No. We, I don't have a family. Did you get one? Hmm? A family. Oh, a couple, yeah. Yeah. Did you pick him up at the pound? Huh? You got you got him at the Humane Society, just family over there. No, he's got a lot of people pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went with the more like natural route. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh. Love him. Are Are you the only one with the children? Kid? Yeah, yeah. And how old is she? She's seven months old. Is it hard to be on the road and away from her? Yeah, totally. Because like she'll you know when I see I'm gonna see them tomorrow, but like she'll like probably know how to read. 
already. I don't know how it works, but it's been a while, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that it just happens that they wake up one day and yeah. they can read. Yeah. yeah. So I probably missed oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> so if you started in college, um, what kept you going through the times that it just seemed like it wasn't going to pay off? It was fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was really fun. Yeah. Um, like the school gave you guys money, and mm -hmm. you. Would... Yeah. That was actually, I thought when it was the least fun, but I mean, it but just, like, like after, yeah. yeah. I think naively, um, perhaps naively, I don't know, but uh, I never really thought much about it not paying off, you know, it just sort of was like, yeah, this is the thing you do, this is the thing that we do, and we do a show every week, and, you know, that was, I didn't really think much more about it than that. Did we're, you? we're always kind of eye on the prize for a TV show from the beginning. Mm -hmm. I thought was going to be my next question. Did you? <laughs> Was it more just a, did it start out as kind of a little hobby at school, or yeah. was it just like, this is what we want, we're going to do what we need to do to get it? When I met the guys a year, about a year after the troop form, I met them, and they asked me to join whatever, and Trevor told me that, he's like, this is going to be, this is what we want to be our job. Mm -hmm. like, and so that's kind of what was the understanding even back then was that we wanted to do this. So, yeah. It sounds like arrogant, but it was really just like stupidity. Stupidity. <laughs> I just got drunk. I got drunk for a stupidity. second. Stupidity. It was stupidity. It was stupid. It was no. I mean, it wasn't stupidity, but it was just like, <clears throat> like well, I don't know. We had no grounds to be so confident. Yeah. But we were like really driven. Which, is good. Which sketches were the most fun to write? I had a great time writing Sexy Farm. Yeah, yeah that was, was a fun. I remember fun. laughing. Mm -hmm. really. Dating game. We were Dating crying. That stripper. To the bottom. Oh yeah, weird, yeah. The weird the stripper. Weird stripper was fun to write. Um. That earthquake sketch, I remember having a lot of fun writing that, even though it's not really one anymore. Some of the sketches that are the most fun to write aren't necessarily the funniest sketches. Yeah. And, and how does that work out, do you think? Is there... There's sometimes no it's funny to us. Just don't do them, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, Show Shine the Elegant, I remember when we wrote that sketch. Oh. I, I remember thinking, it's the funniest sketch we've yeah. ever written. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> no one likes it. Yeah, no one cares about it. Yeah. I, I vaguely remember it. It's also yeah. like animal costumes being racist. It's kind of yes, okay. That is what, that's what I thought it was, but I wasn't positive. <laughs> um, how, did, how did the drag component come up? Was it just like one day you decided, oh. You're like, fine, Darren, do it. I don't, we don't care anymore. Yeah. Stop I really asking. I think I should play the girl. <laughs> we can get girls, Darren. <laughs> no, no. No, that was it. We're all dudes in the troupe, and... Um, and, and um, girls aren't funny. And girl, no, not no. the girls aren't funny. It's just no, that, we're just not good at talking. We're not good. having them like us. Yeah, <laughs> girls don't really like us that much. So they wouldn't do our stuff. Um, so we just did it. We're like this all the time. <laughs> girls don't want to be around us. <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for giving up your time. Okay. And cool. I'll send you a thing on Facebook. Thank cool. you very much. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm friends with most of you. So. Oh, cool. I'm not on Facebook. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well done. She looked right at you when she said it, too. I'm friends with most of you. Yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a point of glare. <laughs> you're not on Facebook. I was. But you're into dubstep. That's pretty cool. I, I part of him is 17 and part of him is 17. 17. Oh, okay. Maybe Facebook will follow tomorrow. This has been Hot Sauce, brought to you by PlainCatchupPodcast.com. Please subscribe, rate, and comment on iTunes. Check back every Monday for a new celebrity guest interview. You may also want to check out our hilarious Wednesday videos on youtube.com slash plainketchup. That's P-L-A-I-N-K-E-T-C-H-U-P. Sign up for our newsletter on plainketchuppodcast.com to be entered into our monthly drawings. We give away t-shirts, music, stickers, and more from our guests. Please like us on facebook.com slash plainketchup and follow us on Twitter at plainketchup. Don't forget to support this project by buying plain ketchup swag at our Cafe Press store. Have a question? Email Jamie and Lindsay at gmail.com. That's J A I M E and L I N D S E Y at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Stay saucy. Willy Wonka definitely is real and definitely put candy in your stocking on Christmas Eve. What are you talking about? That's Santa Claus. No, that's Willy Wonka. I don't know where this conversation is going, Lindsay. I don't either, but I'd like to speak German now, Let's please. back up to before Willy Wonka. Um, <laughs> things just derailed after that.